Let's hope they get there. 1,300 miles along the Southern Alps to test any car and driver, modern cars. But, well, they chose the route. They know their machines. They've rebuilt most of them for this run. Perhaps sticking to the plains of Canterbury here would be too easy for them. Who knows? And here's another competitor just arrived here at the rallying point. Are you English-speaking, sir? I'm a New Zealander. Oh, you're a local man. Have you any reservations about whether or not you'll make it? No, not really. I think we'll make it. What do you think? Well, she's... It looks beautiful to me. As, um... Well, I don't think you'll have any trouble at all getting over the hill of the 1,300 miles. In fact, from... You're Mike Wolf, I believe. Yes, that's right. And your name, sir? Uh, Witchley. I understand you're looking for rides in cars during the rally. Well, yes, that's right. Uh... Well, unfortunately, we are full of camping gear, but if you'd like to come this way, we can show you this Naples. <laughs> Celebration. Every car is safely home with such knack of fuss you'd swear it happened every day. Full of confidence and good fellowship at the end of their first day, high in the mountains. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Camping with a tourist hotel down the road? Carrying this pioneering stuff a bit too far for my liking. How seriously do you take this off? Well, not much, really. I look around it this way. It's a very good way to have a look around the country and do a bit of quiet trail fishing. Well, um, I see you've got no top on the car. Uh, what happens if it rains? Well, you get wet. Because to take this caper on, you really have to be a trifle mad. Now, you can give me a hand, but I'd give me a push to get me on my way. Oh, um, all right. Right. Determined to be different, aren't they? Seems to me the only thing they have in common is their interest in old cars. Their own old cars.
this bloke's in a hurry. Oh, well, the weather's fine, and they tell me these things were built for gravel roads. It's more like buck jumping than motoring. Does he think he is a jet pilot? All very well for you. Now what? Is he trying to pass? That fishing maniac seen a river. I thought they were concentrating on pure motoring. Just what have I let myself in for? The rally rallied early this morning. Most competitors joined the timed run through Hurst Pass. Sightseeing trips seem common. And some have risen to the challenge of the local trout. As for the organisers, they seem to expect this anarchy, every man for himself. There don't appear to be any rules to this vintage motoring business. hasn't had a crowd like this since the gold rush days. There's the same crazy air about the place now. Why do all these people come all this way to do this? Only two have packed up so far. Out of the rain, thank goodness. And no, I've struck gold. If you put all this together, I wonder if you'd get the same kick as the bloke who originally made it. Perhaps you would. Maybe that's what's got into these people? Pioneering? You know, we have lost something with modern cars. Motoring used to be an adventure. Mike, coming with me down Skippers. I'd love to. Hop in. Right.
Oh, Jeannie. Yes? Oh, you go on in and get dry, Brian. I'll fix this. of vintage motoring. Well, Earl, um, you don't have to be mad, but it helps. <laughs> 